Okay. Hi, it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. Really glad to be back with you. I am super excited. I went into the town of Riddle today. I have some friends, Dave and Carol Summerlin, and they grow the most amazing tomatoes. And um, they are so reasonable in price. These big beauties, $2 each. And they have a wide variety and they also have a, a sheet that tells you about each of the tomatoes. Now this one is a San, I'm going to just show you the name because I'm probably going to mess up. San Maranzo. That is a really nice um, Roma style one. So I'm going to be planting that and let's see what else I got. I caught my favorite, of course. Let's see what this one is. Yikes, I can't read this one. So <laughs> I got a sun gold and I got a large uh, yellow one that I can't remember the name. That may be this one. So I'm going to plant all the San Marano's first and I'm going to show you how I do it. It's really important to know when you're planting tomatoes, it's kind of like being a kid when you go to the beach and you would dig out a big hole and then you would lay in the hole and your friends would bury you clear up to your neck and you loved it. <laughs> That's how tomatoes are. So I probably won't get it all the way, but part way. And another good thing I want to show you right now is you take these and you break them off. So I'm going to break it off to here. Two. Now, can you see where each of these little nubs are? Roots are going to come out of that and I'm going to try to start these in water and see if I can give some to some friends. So let's, let's plant this one. Okay, so teasing it out. Let's see how root bound this one is. Oh, not bad at all. Look at that. So just, you want to always separate the roots a little bit so that they will spread out where they need to be. Although they're gonna be spreading out all the way up here, so that's okay, but. All right, so that's nice and wiggled. You don't want them trapped in. Nobody likes to be trapped. <laughs> well, unless you're laying in the sand. So, this is how I'm gonna do it. I just dig out a nice deep hole. And there we go. We're going to put it in sideways. And I want to show you something else. This soil, with everything that we've been adding, is loaded with worms. I'm sure there's all sorts of microbial life in here for the health of this soil. Because if you want healthy food, you have to have healthy soil. So let's just get this planted. Try not to smash the... Try not to smash the worms. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Pull a weed while you're right here. Now you begin to slowly ease this one up. And then just back it up. You don't want to break it. No air holes either. No air holes. <laughs> so that's how you plant a tomato. You don't have to watch me do all of them, but I'm going to keep doing them. And I want to show you something that my friend and I did because yesterday I showed you the very sad tunnel that we had. So let's take a look at that real quick. Come on. Ta-da! Look at this, all even. It's important to always, go closer. 
it's important to always have these up off the ground because you want to be able to weed under them. No touching the ground. So nice and even, high. This will be shady and cool. We will be super, super happy with it. So it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. I want to pray blessings on you and your household in the day and the night. Whatever you do, keep dreaming. Remember, give me a thumbs up and tell me, is this the way you plant your tomatoes? All right, have a great evening. Good night. Okay.